It was announced today that gasless Sundays will go into effect as of next month. The price of gas had nearly quadrupled between 1973 and 1974. Inflation surged across the economies of the world. Everything was more expensive, in part, due to the price of energy. That was the first time in the modern, very heavily energy-dependent era that the United States moved into a period of dramatic energy scarcity. We had lines miles long for gas stations. I remember as a kid in the 70s going to gasoline stations, they'd have a green flag out if they had gasoline, a yellow flag if they were running low, and a red flag if they were out. And if the line was long and the flag was yellow, you might move on to the next gasoline station and hope they had more supplies. We had spikes in the prices of all kinds of basic commodities. Jimmy Carter's famous moment on television wearing a sweater, appearing before a fire in sort of a dark room, I think was a record scratch moment for, for the American people. Our program will emphasize conservation. Being really encouraged by their president to focus on making do with less, people saw a view of the future that looked like it was worse than the past. The second massive oil shock of the 1970s began with the Iranian Revolution in 1978. During the turmoil, Iranian oil output declined by 4.8 million barrels per day, which was 7% of the world production at that time. Due to the instability of the Middle East in 1979 and 1980, oil prices rose rapidly again. In Europe, Latin America, and North America, governments began to hoard oil supplies. Inflation skyrocketed once again. The oil shocks of the 1970s caused many governments to question their own dependence on energy imported from across the world. This led to a movement toward self-sufficiency, also known as energy independence which was somewhat at odds with globalization. The point of having optionality, flexibility, resilience played out very, very clearly in that case. For at least the foreseeable future, we don't anticipate any major increase in the pipeline quantity of gas available to us. The response of the United States to the energy crisis was multifaceted. There was the effort to switch from the large American automobiles. We must end our love affair with the big car. There were efforts to reduce gas consumption by lowering the speed limit to 55 miles an hour. Campaigns to reduce energy costs by keeping the lights off and keeping air conditioning off. We had a serious challenge to the modern American way of life. And just as importantly, it had a huge refocusing of the United States domestically on energy innovation.